Hey folks, so I want to get in the habit of uploading a video every Friday, so I'm batting a thousand right now. Um, last week, Steam was here, and we had a really great visit. I enjoyed his company and the conversation and the food, and um, it was really nice to be with another couple was nice. I haven't had that experience, um, so with, with an, you know, and a couple like us. So that was really special. And I enjoyed the conversation that we had here on this channel, and it made me want to do it more. So I asked a friend if he would come on and talk with me, and he's agreed, and he is in his 20s, and I, I want to um, get his perspective. Um, and I really like this guy. I knew him early in transition, even before I started T. And he meant so much to me um, in the beginning of my transition. He's maybe, I don't know, six months ahead of me. And so I really <laughs> looked up to him. Um, even though he was in his 20s, I looked up to him and, and still do. And he has, man, grown into such a handsome fella. I can't wait for you to meet him. Um, so. His name is Felix, and he will be here in maybe a month. I think we're going to get together after I get back from New York. Um, I am looking forward to that trip. Uh, we have all sorts of things lined up. A couple of you have messaged me and want to meet when I'm in New York, and that would be awesome, but I don't think I'm going to have time. It looks like it's jam-packed. Um, so... We are um, going to deliver to Freeze, and then uh, my boss, the artist I work for, is getting his VIP tickets, so that should be fun. Um, I'm going to take my suit and have a fancy time in New York. Um, what else? What else? Oh, tonight I am going to go hang with some friends, some artist friends. I, when I was in Miami, I met a, a couple of friends there and had such a great time with them. It was so fun getting to know them better. And they're both artists, and one of them is moving up to Santa Fe, so we're getting together downtown tonight. And, um, and then uh, an opening tomorrow night, and I'm just looking forward to um, kicking off my day tomorrow at the gym and Sunday, go to the gym, and I really want to get back in that habit I've gotten out of that habit. Work was so strenuous that um, I would just come home beat, and um, I realized that if I worked out, I'd have more energy. It's kind of a catch-22. So um, I'm going to get back to that. And I think um, I want to talk a little bit today about how it is to transition in my 50s and what is particular to that. Um, so I watch a lot of videos and um, I'm getting to know a lot of folks from different generations and I see guys transition in their late teens, 20s, even 30s and their transition, um, you know, they go through an awkward puberty um, Sometimes, sometimes it just, it doesn't look awkward at all. It just looks uh, beautiful and natural and they just uh, grow into themselves and get more handsome and more hairy and, um, and they look very much like any other boy, young man growing into themselves. When you transition in your 50s or when I did, I was self-conscious about being an older person and, uh, transitioning and getting things like facial hair and having facial hair um, that, well, uh, I was working one night in my studio, and this was a couple of years ago when I was still drinking beer, and I went across the street to have a beer, and the owner of the bar knew me and knew I was transitioning, and he's like, Earl, look at your, look at that scruff, you look like a 15-year-old, and uh I laughed, and a part of me was glad, and a part of me was embarrassed, and and uh, and then it made me a little bit sad, you know. Um, 
that I waited so long and was having this like doubly awkward um, period. Uh, and maybe all guys, regardless of age, feel that awkwardness. But I felt a particular, I think, age-related um, awkwardness. And it has dissipated um, somewhat, but it still comes up. I obviously went to the barber recently. I went yesterday and got a haircut. And for my first haircut, I asked him not to shave my sideburns. And, um, and he didn't. And then, uh, and then the next few times I would go in and he would shave them off. And I stopped asking him to preserve them because I was embarrassed of them. Um, they are sparse. I love them though. I've waited so long for them. Um, I went yesterday and he shaved them off. I knew he would. Um, so I'm going to have to, uh, I don't know either uh, speak up for myself or uh, find another barber or wait till my sideburns are a little bit thicker and I have a little more self-esteem around them <laughs> to say don't shave them off. I want them. Um, uh, you know, it's a little bit embarrassing to admit that. Um, and my goatee is, you know, it has this little uh, gap here. I think that's pretty common when... Um, when we're just getting our facial hair, uh, I think it's pretty common for hair to grow in slower in places. So it's just coming in here. And I do like a, it's not a comb over, it's more of a comb together. And sometimes I do a comb together twist to kind of hide that, that gap. Um, and uh, yeah, so, um, and then uh, emotional changes. I immediately felt more balanced. But my wife, my partner, um, has referred to me as a teenage boy many times, even recently, even this weekend. And we were talking about that, um, Steen and I were. Uh, so, um, and all the things associated with puberty um, come. So, um, it's fantastic, and it can be challenging. Um, I recently have been feeling very happy in my transition. Um, I'm feeling happy when I look in the mirror and I see that fella. I waited so long to see um, myself look like this, and I, I say periodically that the changes have slowed down and then a couple of months will go by and I'll realize, wow, no, they're still happening. Um, they are. I can look back at, you know, a few months ago when I had two years um, and there have been changes that make me really happy. So I had... Um, I have an Instagram account that is more business related, associated to my art career such as it is. And then I have another Instagram account, the link is, is here, um, that I made a few months ago, I guess. Um, but it's new, it's recent. And I told, I told Steen that I made it because I wanted to get more comfortable with these changes that were happening. In particular, I needed to show my chest. Um, I am uncomfortable still with how my chest looks and the only place I feel safe showing it is in a community of trans folk. So I created an Instagram account that was just for documenting my transition and is just for me to um, kind of process the, uh, the changes and um, and meet other folks and to encourage other people. So recently I've been um, posting before and after pictures and you know doing Transformation Tuesday and Throwback Thursday and that kind of thing. And um, it's really blowing me away, the, the magic of, of 
of transition is, I am so grateful for it. And uh, the other night I got in from work and I looked at my reflection in the mirror and saw this guy. And I told a friend of mine that sometimes if I'm feeling a little blue, I will go look in the mirror and feel better. It sounds so egotistical, but um, it it is the first time in my life that I have liked my reflection and felt good about um, how I'm living and had this particular kind of ease. Uh, so I am curious about how you guys process your transition and the changes and puberty and um, it'd be great to hear from people of different age groups if there are any young folks out there younger guys that want to uh, maybe describe how it might be a little different from them or if or maybe it's not um, please comment and um, I guess that's it for today next Friday I head to New York and I am taking my buddy Wee with me, and um, Wee is a great friend of mine. He's a cis fella who's just super cool. He's in his 20s, and he's the only artist I've ever been able to collaborate with. Um, so we will be making some videos from the road and making some art from the road. Um, I'm also going to record in New York. Um, and we'll be uploading those from the hotel. So uh, look for that next week, and I will see you there. Bye.